I'm going to ride the gun because gun is not like working like what? Everything else buried immediately at the stasel. And this here that I have, I swear, is not a baked potato. This is a black powder charge, approximately six ounces. It's going to be loaded into the gun and rammed to the back of the book. And, sir, what you need to take one big old step back. Oh, I what see. What I'm looking for here go down. Ah. is what I call a dull, clunky, or thunky, clinky sound, <laughs> which is that right there. Uh, it means the charge is home, but. I would prefer not to oh, now he's gonna break. Uh, look bad by not being able to fire the gun, so I just double check if it's prick. I gotta let the captain know that it's prick and prime. Number one is prick and prime. So, what that? So this is the prick. Uh, what I did is I placed it in, and when he, when I get the orders to prick and prime, I will place this in and um, stab through the black powder charge which will then explode, expose the black powder within the charge. And then I will use what's called a friction prime, which is a small brass tube with a pin on it. When I pull this pin, it'll, there's a little uh, bit of a... Uh, some, uh, some black powder. Well, there's black oh. powder, but there's something black in there powder. that when I pull the pin out, spark to ignite the small black powder charge in here. The black, when the black powder charge inside the small uh, prime, uh, goes off, it will ignite the exposed black powder of the charger I put in there, and you'll hear a boom. Uh, I'll get the order to fire, in which, at which time I encourage you to plug your ears, and then once you hear the gun fire, because I don't care how hard you plug your ears, you will hear it fire, um, I suggest you unplug your ears, because the echo, in my opinion, is the best part of the shot. <laughs> if it happens. Um, so I would like you guys all also, after we fire it off, to be very excited about it. You, <laughs> I, I, I know you'll have to work for it, but I want you guys to cheer, and then we'll be getting some orders, so cheer for a second, or maybe just one big clap. After you hear it, just one big clap. No, that's a lot to organize. Uh, um, does anyone have any questions about the procedure of firing off these guns? <laughs> he has a question. Yep. <laughs> Where can I get one? <laughs> um, these are actually... Oh, I, I used to know this. Um, yeah. They were cast in England. Yeah. Um, the original carronades, these are six-pound carronades, um, were cast in Cairn, Scotland, in the Cairn Foundry. And they were relatively... Um, or they were state-of-the-art technology at the time. Huh. Because they weren't on a carriage, on a wheeled carriage, they were on a pivoting carriage. Okay. That uh, has a slide on it. I didn't say frickin' prime. You, you told me it was frickin' prime. No, I said ready to frickin' prime. <laughs> yeah, frickin' prime and fire. No. Okay. Alright. Frickin' fire, plug your ears!